Greetings. Today the moon continues in Virgo as we head toward tomorrow's uh, new moon and solar eclipse in Libra, beginning a new moon cycle, focusing on Libra and partnerships, balance, peace, and themes of creating balance in our lives. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Tuesday, October 1st. We're moving into fall here and the air is starting to feel chilly for me. I don't know about you and um, most of you are in the northern hemisphere, but not all. So, uh, of course, the seasons would be reversed um, for those of you in the southern hemisphere. But let's talk about today's energies. So, um, so. Virgo moon, we're continuing um, here for the third day in a row of having that Virgo energy of uh, thinking about improvement, focusing on details, where do, where do things need to be attended to, to bring improvement and maintain, uh, you know, that could be cleaning, it could be fixing things, it could be attending to the little details of our lives. And of course, we've been talking this moon cycle about improvement and what self-improvement looks like with a Virgo moon cycle that began with last month's new moon in Virgo. So uh, so that Virgo energy is now coming to completion. It's come full circle. The moon is back in Virgo before it heads into Libra joining the sun in Libra for tomorrow's new moon and solar eclipse. So we're completing the Virgo energy. We're completing these themes of uh, attending to details. And today there's some interesting alignments in the, uh, we have two grand trines. So as the moon passes through late Virgo, as it gets ready to shift into Libra, which um, the moon goes into Libra at 3.19 p.m. Pacific time. So uh, adjust for your own time zone. But uh, as the moon finishes its time in Virgo, um, early afternoon for me, depends um, um, on your time zone, but um, but as it moves through that those later degrees of Virgo, the moon forms a grand trine with uh, Pluto in late Capricorn and Uranus in late Taurus. So Uranus at 26 degrees Taurus, Pluto at 29 degrees Capricorn, both in a sextile to Neptune at 28 degrees Pisces. So I know that some of you like to know um, the details of what the sign, what signs the planets are in, what degrees and all that. And you might be tracking it in your own chart. And others of you uh, are like, that's too much technical detail for me. I just want to know what it means. <laughs> so um, I'm always trying to balance, uh, right? Uh, giving you too much technical information versus giving you what you need. So, um, so let me know what works for you. Share in the comments um, and let me know if you like the technical details or if you want me to just tell you the meaning. And that will uh, be a little informal poll that will help me um, know some of the best ways to share with you on these videos. Um, so, so as that moon forms a grand trine, in Earth, right? And the moon in Virgo, Pluto in Capricorn, Uranus in Taurus. We have a grand trine in Earth that brings um, some extra oomph, some extra uh, uh, support for Earth energy, which is the tangible. So manifesting results, um, getting in touch with things that we want to experience in the um, in the tangible world and uh, the results we want, but also the ways that we connect with the earth and our bodies and experiencing support for taking in nourishment on that very physical level, receiving things of value, things of beauty, and again, with that Virgo energy, having the humility to say, you know, here's where we could do a little better here. 
Um, and whether whether that's like, I mean, a, a good metaphor is cleaning, right? It's okay, you know, let's get the dust and the cobwebs out of the corners and clear the space to make it more beautiful so we can enjoy this experience of what the earth brings us, right? Nature and the value of the beauty that is around us. And um, when we attend to our space in positive ways, we are, uh, that's a form of self-care. So uh, it gives us support and, and that feeling of spaciousness that we um, might want to invite to expand in our lives. Um, so we have two grand trines today. So there's that one with the moon moving through late Virgo. And even as it goes into Libra, very early Libra, it's still in that grand trine, although we shift from the Virgo energy into the uh, more airy energy of Libra and uh, ideas, thinking, you know, balance, communication, um, and some of that Libra air. But we also do have um, a grand trine in water with Saturn in Pisces, Mars in Cancer, and Venus in Scorpio. So uh, I was sharing on Sunday, I think it was, about that balance between the Venus and the Mars energies and how they are um, connecting to Saturn and containers, making containers for these um, energies of needing to act with Mars, needing to push, needing to take action and be decisive, take risks, find courage, um, but at the same time needing the balance of being willing to receive. And so we have to take it in. <laughs> we have to take that moment of pause to go, wow, this is awesome. This is beautiful. This is everything that I truly appreciate. And when we take that moment to receive, we um, are balancing out the energy of the effort that we put out there. Um, so, so we've got uh, two grand trines today almost a grand, what is it called? Um, a, a grand uh, sextile. <laughs> grand, I'm not thinking of the word right now. It must be a grand sextile um, between two grand trines. So one in earth and one in water. And uh, it's a, that is a rare, but um, kind of fascinating formation. It's not so rare that you never see it. It's, um, it's, rare in the sense that most people don't have it, but for the people who do have it um, in your chart, it, it creates this kind of interesting dynamic for your life. Um, when we have it in the energies of a day, we have some interesting dynamics for the day. And, uh, and so this is two grand trines, but not quite a grand sextile because uh, the earth Grand Trine is in the later degrees and the water Grand Trine is in the middle degrees. So um, so they're not exactly opposing. Anyway, th there, there we go into the technical details. And but at any rate, we have these two Grand Trines, Earth and Water, great for working with energy, great for setting intentions, great for manifesting. Um, great for seeing the way through, kind of opening uh, the veil to greater clarity, uh, but also um, may potentially uh, seeing things that we couldn't see before that might bring a little bit of difficult truth in as well. So, uh, so that's kind of getting to the deeper level of what these energies are saying. And of course, heading into the Libra solar eclipse brings uh, an alignment that um, is potent and can help us shift. So if you missed my video from Sunday, definitely watch that for more information on tomorrow's eclipse, what kind of uh, dynamic that brings about balance and peace and how to um, experience the 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 balance in your life how to create that shift that is possible here 
shifting into your own higher potential, shifting into things you're ready to experience, shifting into new ways of seeing and moving. Um, so all this energy is lining up for some change. And if you're setting positive intentions, you're saying, yes, please, I would like that positive change. Um, and so you don't have to get uh, knocked on the head by the universe's messages, but you can say, hey, this is what I want. And uh, I'm willing to pay attention. I'm willing to change in the ways that I need to change to support uh, myself in having the outcomes I want. So talking about manifestation and that manifestation process that we do with the monthly moon cycles and with tomorrow's new moon beginning a new moon cycle now uh, from the energy of the Virgo moon cycle to now beginning the energy of the Libra moon cycle and bringing us into more of an experience of relatedness, relationship, partnership, finding common ground, seeing how we can work together, cooperation, collaboration. And remember that uh, Libra can also talk about or speak to your own relationship with yourself. So when you have a strong and healthy relationship with yourself, right, you can see your own strengths and uh, find those places where uh, you might need a little love and care and kindness. And um, so we've been doing the, the Virgo work of self-improvement, and now we get to have the experience of, of seeing how that is reflected when we share it outside of ourselves, or even when we share and build uh, strong relationships with ourself, if that makes sense, right? Having a strong relationship with you, yourself, you and yourself. Um, so uh, starting with how you talk to yourself and the ways that you hold yourself and love yourself. And then that is your baseline for how you can show up for others. And Libra is the sign that reminds us that it's not just about the self, it's about the self and others and how we do that and walk through this world uh, with the with our fellow human beings. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Um, some interesting energies, but also rem reminder to uh, stay grounded, stay focused within yourself on what you are aligning with what are the positive outcomes you want to stay in tune with to create and then allowing these energies and whatever shows up in your life to show you the way. Thank you again for being here. I'm Marina Orms. Let me know what you think about uh, technical <laughs> technical details, how much detail you want, and uh, I will do my best. Sometimes I forget words um, or terms or or times, dates, all those things. It's a lot for me to keep in my head, but uh, I do my best. So thanks for being here. And you can learn more about me, Marina Orms at astrologyheals.com. And thanks for subscribing. I will see you next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. Bye for now.